Hey, it's Anthony from Pretty Printing here. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to handle schemas in your database using Flask SQL Alchemy if your database system actually supports schemas. So for this example, I'll be using PostgreSQL because it supports schemas. So I already have the configuration set up to connect to a PostgreSQL database. And then I have two schemas in my database. I have a public schema, which is the default, and I have my schema, which is a schema that I created. So what I'll do is I'll create two tables, one in public and one in my schema, and we'll see what the difference is. So the first table I'll create, I'll call it my table. This is going to be in the public schema. So I'll just create one column, and it's going to be the primary key column. So I'll save that. I'll start up Python and import DB so I can create this one table. So from schema example import db and then i'll do db create all to actually create this one table so now let's look at the gui i'll refresh public and now i should see i have one table called my table so now that was pretty simple because I didn't have to do anything special because public is the default schema. But if I want a table in my schema, my other schema, then I have to do something slightly different. So what I have to do is declare the class the same. So I'll call this my second table. And I need an ID column just like before. So it's going to be pretty much the same as the first table except for the one difference that I'll add in just a moment. So to have it work with a different schema, I have to specify table arguments. So it's going to be under bar, under bar, table, under bar, args, under bar, under bar, and then a dictionary with schema. And then the key will be the name of the schema. So in this case, my schema. So I'll save that. I'll restart Python and I'll import everything again. So from schema example, import db and i'll do db create all to create all the tables that aren't here and now that is done i can refresh my schema and now it shows me that i have a, a table in my schema called my second table so with that one addition i can specify which schema i want my table to be in so that's great but can the schemas talk to each other through SQL Alchemy? Well, the answer is yes. So I'm going to create two tables, uh, which are pretty much the same as two tables I created in a past video. So what I'll do is just basically go through this really quickly. It's going to have an ID column. And then a name column. And then finally, a column called pets. So like I said, this is from a, a different video, but this is a good way to illustrate how schemas can work, even when two tables have a relationship. So I have a person table, and now I have a pet table. So this pet table is going to be in the other schema. So person is going to be in the public schema, and pet is going to be in my schema my schema and then i'll just do this setup for the rest of the table db integer primary key true a name for the pet and then finally the foreign key part so db column db integer, db foreign key, and then person.id. So I'll save that, and I will create all again. So let me exit out of here, run Python again from schema example import. In this case, I'll import everything, and then I'll do db create all. So let's take a look at the database now. I'll look at public first. I now have two tables, my table in person. And if I 
refresh my schema. I have two tables, my second table and pet. So now let me add data into these tables so you can see how there's a relationship between them, even though they're in different schemas. And this relationship will automatically be taken care of by SQL Alchemy. So I'll create a person and I'll create a pet. So I'll call the pet spot name is going to be spot and owner is going to be Anthony. So I add these to the session. I really don't even have to add spot, but did it already. And I'll commit these two. So now let's take a look at the data in these tables. So if I go to my person table and I look at the data, so view data, view all rows, I see that I have one record in the table called Anthony because I created a person named Anthony. Now, if I go to the other schema and look in the pet table and I view the data here, I see that I have one pet named Spot. And we see that the owner ID is one, which is referring to the person table. So as we saw there, I was able to connect to the database and specify schemas that I could add tables to. And then I showed you how to have a connection between two tables in different schemas. So that's really all you have to do in SQL Alchemy. There are other ways of doing it, of course, like pretty much anything in programming, there are more than one ways of doing something. But this example shows you a really easy way to do it and SQL Alchemy would take care of the rest. So if you have any questions about using schemas in your database, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. If you have any questions about anything else or requests for videos, you can leave that in the comments as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.